The Chatham Islands Le Kohu Whadakauri Homes Fire Safety Visit project that we're working on is about bringing home fire safety to the community here. And the idea is, is that once people have put in those thoughts and that planning, um, that they're going to be prepared in their own home, but then also more prepared as a community. Because we're a single brigade and we're in one of the remotest places in New Zealand, we don't have backup from another brigade nearby. So the work towards helping the, the community address the safety issues that come with fire is one of our biggest challenges because once they call us, it's usually too late. Having fire and emergency coming to our towns on Chathams is a fantastic help for us. We try to teach the children from early on about fire safety. Um, it's really important when it's so far away from the fire brigade um, that we don't have accidents and we try to prevent them before there is any emergency situations. While we're here we are doing a public fire safety presentation where we're addressing both home fire safety and also uh, what we call interface fire safety, I'm thinking around the outside of the home, what sort of plants you have around the home and thinking about what things you're storing around the home as well and those can be risks. I feel so much better knowing that I can save myself in a home if there's a fire and my kids and knowing that when we have other kids around, because we always do, that they're safe I and mean, if my kids are going somewhere else and everyone's learning this seriously we're way safer it is yeah it's fantastic actually I feel much safer now I can go to bed at night and know if something does happen I'm all good <laughs> when we came to the Chatham Islands we got uh, more and more communities and families wanting us to come and do home fire safety visits and talk to them individually uh, about home fire safety and their specific incidents as well and as we started talking to people they opened up about their concerns around fire safety and their safe practices so they were quite happy to, to talk about their pre-planning and what they can do in the planning phase as well so a lot of families actually sat down with us and, and wrote out a three-step escape plan while we were there. If we can have a smoke alarm in every house then we were able to hopefully prevent any fatalities as we have had a fatality recently. The main message we want to get across to remote communities like the Chathams is that they need to be prepared. It's not all about putting in smoke alarms, it's about being prepared in advance, making sure that communities and residents have good cooking practices. Keep looking while you're cooking, don't get preoccupied. Uh, overloaded or faulty multi-plugs. While we were there we found a number of multi-plugs. Uh, had one lady we had a brand new heater that wasn't, it kept tripping out, she thought it was the heater. It was actually the multi-plug and we cut the lead off it and she was more than happy with that and her heater worked fine. Fuel supplies, people stacking firewood right up against their houses was another issue in a number of properties here as well. Uh, defensible areas, uh, people just letting the grass grow up against their, their properties and then during summer it becomes extremely dry and if you get an external fire coming to the house it's a, it's, a, it's a way of losing your house. The only difference between any isolated rural community in New Zealand and the Chatham Islands is 800 kilometres and a whole pile of water. Other than that, they are exactly the same. There is no difference. If we can achieve this in the Chatham Islands 800 kilometres away, this can be done anywhere in any isolated rural community in New Zealand.